Hi, I'm Brendan for avt.bike, and today I'm going to show you some of the options and features of White Industries M30, R30, and G30 crank sets. Let's check them out. So when you get your White Industries M, R, or G30 cranks, they're going to come in a box like this. What's inside this box is pretty cool because it's so modular. So let's take a look. So inside your box, you'll have a crank arm set and a bottom bracket spindle. You'll also have crank bolts, which are available in two different colors, and extractor caps, which are available in a bunch of different colors. So you have lots of different configurations that you can get with these cranks. They're just really adaptable. So now spindles, White Industries has very graciously put dimensions and markings on these. So you don't have to wonder, is this a road or gravel spindle? You just know, it is. Mountain spindle, there's also a fat bike spindle, and these are interchangeable. And that's why you're able to take road arms on this or mountain arms to convert this to a gravel crank set. So very nice modular system, really easy to work with because of that. So here we have the two arms, this being an M30 and this being an R30. The R30, as you can see, bows out, but not very much. The M30 bows out significantly more. So this has 11.2 millimeter wider Q factor, 5.6 millimeters per side, just to give you that extra crank arm clearance for wider chainstays. And this is what is specced on M30 and G30 crank sets, whereas this is what's specced on R30. One more aspect of these crank sets modularity is the ease with which you can convert them to non-boost or boost single rings and White Industries VBC multi-ring chain ring setup. They all use the same spline and it's just attached right using this. So if I want to convert this crank set to a VBC, I would simply put this on here, tighten the lock ring down using a Park Tool BBT-22, and now I have a multi-ring setup. To remove that, it's as easy as removing the lock ring, removing the chain ring, putting my new single ring chain ring on there, reinstalling, the lock ring, which does need to be tightened to 40 newton meters, and there I'm good to go with a single ring setup. Very modular, lots of options, lots of colors, and these will fit pretty much any bike because there are bottom brackets available for pretty much any bike.